There's hardly any company whose products are as popular and successful as Apple and inventions like the iPhone. But while Apple's cell phone regularly breaks sales records and is re-released every year, the company is already working on the next huge success product, but in top secret. In fact, more and more information, leaks, and news about an own car which Apple is supposed to bring to the market in the not-too-distant future have appeared lately. That's why, today, we want to tell you everything about Apple's next big product revolution. In this video, you'll learn what incredible features Apple's own car is supposed to have, what it looks like, and why it's different from anything you've ever seen on the road before. So stay tuned, here at Wonderlane. Before we get to the completely crazy features of the car, we first want to answer the question, why Apple, as a technology company, wants to build a car at all. Since 2014, there have been rumors that Apple is developing its own car, and in recent years, more and more information has come to light that proves that Apple really is building its own car. The reason why Apple is considering selling its own car is relatively simple. A car is next to a house one of the most expensive private purchases for many. And for Apple, on the one hand, a gigantic opportunity to make huge profits. On the other hand, Apple as a technology company now has many options to provide various technologies for a car. The growing popularity of electric cars and high-tech vehicles, such as those from Tesla, make the topic of cars interesting for companies like Apple. Apple's car, for example, is going to be 100% electric and battery-powered. The idea for Project Titan, as Apple calls the car internally, was launched in 2014 and the project is now becoming more and more concrete. What is really spectacular is that the Apple car is supposed to be able to drive completely autonomously. That means it will be able to drive on its own, and the driver will have to do almost nothing. Initially, the motto of the car at Apple was supposedly, away from driving towards being driven. The driver should therefore become more of a passenger and be able to use the driver driving time for other things, such as using the infotainment system on board. It is certain, and this should come as no surprise to anyone at Apple, that the Apple car will have a modern, very powerful entertainment system, and can, of course, also be networked with all kinds of devices. The controls and displays are more reminiscent of the inside of a spaceship than a car, but more about that later. Apple is also planning to install a super battery in the car. In other words, a battery that lasts a particularly long time, supposedly up to 310 miles. This means that the Apple car would have to be recharged much less often than competing vehicles. Similar to fast charging in the iPhone, the car's battery should also be able to charge almost completely in a very short time. Allegedly, it only takes about 15 minutes from 0% battery power to 80%, which would be much faster than most of the e-cars at the moment. By the way, the Apple car is expected to appear in 2024 at the earliest, although analysts consider 2025 to be more realistic, because they know that Apple sets very high standards for itself and only wants to launch the car on the market when the technology and design are perfect. Of course, Apple is still keeping the design of the iCar a closely guarded secret, but there are already some initial leaks regarding its appearance, although they don't reveal too much yet. In contrast to many videos, which show the Apple car as a futuristic sports car, this design does not correspond at all to what Apple actually has in mind for their car. According to several insiders, the iCar, or Project Titan, will rather have the shape of a minibus, and its exterior will be reminiscent of the new electric Volkswagen bus, which you can see here in the picture. So, the Apple car will probably be more of a van than a stylish sports car. However, other industry experts also assume that Apple will produce different versions of its car, so that in addition to a version as a van, there will also be an SUV model and a crossover Apple car. The Apple car is not only supposed to look cool, be able to drive autonomously, 
seamlessly and have a powerful infotainment system, but the performance of the electric car is also supposed to be convincing. Depending on whether you choose the sedan, SUV, or crossover version of the iCar, the car is supposed to be able to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, and reach a top speed of up to 155 miles per hour. Of course, this begs the question of how a company like Apple, which is primarily familiar with computers, smartphones, and entertainment, wants to build such high-performance cars. In fact, Apple doesn't want to build its iCars itself, but rather rely on the know-how of an experienced car manufacturer. After many different car makers, such as Volkswagen and BMW, were discussed, it is now certain that Apple will have its car built by Kia, a subsidiary of Hyundai. More precisely, in the city of West Point in the U.S. state of Georgia. The decision to have the car built in the U.S. and not abroad is likely to be a big selling point for many proud U.S. citizens, whose production location was left behind by Germany and Japan many years ago. Apple wants to invest 3.6 billion U.S. dollars in the factory and plans to produce 100,000 cars a year in the beginning. Later, the factory wants to produce up to 400,000 vehicles a year. Now that you know some of the most important facts, we would like to take a closer look at a particularly interesting feature of the Apple car, namely the spectacular entertainment system. The displays in the Apple car will not just be screens, as we know them from other modern cars, but communication and entertainment electronics will actually be installed here, like from the future. All displays are going to be three-dimensional and holographic, as seen in movies like Star Trek. The functions are controlled via gestures and voice commands. It is also currently suspected that VR glasses developed by Apple will be used so that the passengers can move around in virtual reality in the car. It is conceivable that the technology invented by the German company Holoride will be further developed here. Holoride transforms the car ride into a cinema and a video game at the same time and also involves the outside world. So everything around you turns into a game level, and you can interact with the characters in this world. If the car stops at a traffic light, for example, the ride in the game also stops, and you can collect points. A new patent from Apple describes that the seats of the car can also adapt dynamically, and therefore become larger or smaller, which could make a VR experience even more realistic. But purely passive entertainment is also also possible, of course. For example, a boring car ride can easily be transformed into a flight on the back of a pterosaur. Instead of just looking at the highway, you can travel through strange, fascinating worlds and be entertained. Even the idea of turning the car into a spaceship and fighting spectacular space battles is, of course, no longer an obstacle with the right software. Of course, it is also exciting to see whether so many people will be able to afford an Apple car. According to insider information, the price is said to be a whopping $135,000 for the Apple car. However, it might not even be necessary to buy an iCar yourself. Since Apple's considered a visionary, they're also thinking a lot about the future and are addressing issues that are also becoming dealt with in politics. For example, there's the question of what individual transport will look like in the future, and whether there should still be private vehicles on the roads at all. After all, most cars stand around unused most of the day, and only take up space. It is therefore also conceivable that Apple will not sell its cars to private individuals at all, but that people will simply order them via an app like an Uber or a cab when they want to go somewhere. The Apple car could then drive autonomously without a driver to the person who ordered it, and you only have to get in. So, that's it for our video about the Apple car. Write us in the comments if you could imagine buying an Apple car, if you had the necessary money for it. If you enjoyed this video, we would be happy about a like and a comment. See you next time, here at Wonderland.